Okay, well this is important. So I just want to clarify though. Let me clarify. They didn't receive notice because there was a coding error? They received notice because there's a coding error separate from the notice. Okay, so did they receive notice in accordance with the policy by lunchtime the day before? Yes, sir. You're saying that they didn't? I don't know what to tell you. They didn't. Leon, you guys did or did not receive notice? No. I got mine. Of course, to be honest, I wish 30 people say the same thing. They, they, they fixed it this morning. 30 people okay. can't be lying. We didn't receive notice that it was even messed up. Okay. That's what I'm trying to tell her. So can She's I safe. see the notice that you got on your phone that MAT was mandated? And I checked my schedule at 4 o'clock this morning. It's like, it's just And it's been to, and it's still to conference to the I'm looking on. I want to see when you guys received notice of MAT. Was it yesterday? So you guys are saying that you did not receive notice that you had MET until... No, we knew we had MET. Okay. They told us last week we had MET. Which yes. we did. All right, so then we get the schedule. Okay. The schedule says 5.15 to 9.45. Okay. For the whole week. Okay. All right? Okay. So this morning when we wake up... Okay. Check our schedule. Okay. It says 5.15 to 4 o'clock. Okay. So they added the extra 10.30 to 4 o'clock. Is that what happened? Yeah, Drew went in last night and fixed it. And they okay. said it's a golden error. So That's not our now Monday. they're saying it's according to their error that we still entitled to work that I don't, I don't okay. get it. So just to get this straight, okay. So you received a text message about MET. However, the MET was 5.15 to 9.45. So you guys were 9.15 to 5.45. Okay, however, you then received a message saying that... Yeah, we didn't see the message. There's no message. Yeah, we just checked and it was switched. No message. No, 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 no. Oh, you didn't even receive no message. Do you agree with that? So the notice that was originally sent was for MET 50s. What is, I don't know if that's right. It implies in that the extra, like MET day is going to be a 10 hour shift. Okay. There was a co that coding error that only coded the half shift was fixed last night. Okay, but wait a minute. So step by step, they received a message that they were half shift MET. Yeah. Is that what you guys yes. said? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. And we got more people besides us. Like all right. More so all of these people, just to clarify, all everybody says that they received an MET that is half shift. Everybody agrees with that. Yes. Do you agree with that? I would like to see that. Where it's okay. It's too late. You can't show the right thing. Oh. It's text message. It's text message. It doesn't smell any time. It just says we have mandatory. Right. When you check the schedule, it shows you what it is. That's the time. Okay. So everybody is saying that they their schedule reflected a half shift. Is that true? Yes. Okay. And that's what happened. Okay, so everybody received a text message that they were half shift. Does everybody agree with that? Yes. Our text, we yeah. don't call MET in half shift. Okay. It wouldn't have stayed at half shift. It did say half shift. It may have been coded for half shift. It wouldn't, it, the text wouldn't stay at half shift. Okay. When you the text that it shows in it opens Forget the text. Forget the text. Did you, on your schedule it said half shift? Yes. 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 The schedule would have said half shift. Okay. That was, that everybody was agrees that the schedule said half shift. Does everybody agree with that? Yes. Lauren? Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody agrees that their schedule was half shift. Yes. So everybody's here, it's a half shift. Yes. Now, suddenly, it's full shift. Is that what you guys are saying? Yes. Now I got it. Okay. So Lauren, they came in for their MET, it said half shift. When did you guys realize it was? It said full shift? This morning. This morning, literally this, this morning. morning. Lauren, do you agree with that? Okay. So let me get this straight. So you, somebody in HR realized that they received a text that it was half shift. Somebody realized that the shifts were coded incorrectly. Okay, regardless, 
somebody in HR realized that they were only scheduled for half shift. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. Okay. So now HR realizes that there is an error. Is, would you agree with that? Okay. So here they are for their half shift, right? So what is the problem? I don't understand that they're here for their half shift. The problem is that it was never supposed to be just that. It doesn't matter. Okay. I, but so they what cannot... they're asking for, I don't have the clearance to approve. Okay. So well, whether I mean. you do or don't, they're all going to leave for the time that they were provided. They received notice that they're here for a half shift, they're staying for a half shift, and that's all there is to it. If you don't have the authority, then that isn't their problem. Not to mention, no, it doesn't matter. There's too many HR mistakes, and this is an HR mistake that they are not going to absorb. So at the end of the day, I will stand as an advocate for them and say they are staying for their half shift. And if anybody denies them that opportunity, I will go directly to regional and then I will incorporate the media and anybody else that I have to, to make sure that HR ha is accountable for their mistake. If they don't come in because they didn't see their MET day, then they get deducted. They have consequences. There's an accountability part of leadership and the accountability is there is a mistake and they are not going to be the ones that suffer the consequences for HR mistakes again. So if Haley disagrees with that, have her come and see me because I'm telling you right now, they're staying for the shift that they were scheduled for, which is a half shift. And so let's just, let's just give them the time. It's not their mistake. They're leaving half shift. End of story. Okay. Thank you. So we want to sign our names, so yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we um, give you our names? Just in case I'm confused. Lauren, can you take their names, please? Okay. You're crazy. I'm sorry. I owe you. What's your name? Oh, Heather, hold on. Oh, here you go. Actually, I brought these in for you guys. You guys want to see change around? Yes. There you go. Thank you. We need more people like you. No, seriously. Thank you. Okay. Um, just a third thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Let me get one. Um, I texted you. Oh, you did? So listen. Um. Oh. Um. This is the sign up for the committee. So listen. Um. What I want you guys to do is to find somebody that has a screenshot where that half ship was in there. We don't, we don't have it. This guy right here, he just told us they but edited our schedule. They know this it was an error. He just, yeah, he just told us that. Yeah, that. Lauren acknowledged so, that yeah. it was an error, Colin. And the thing is, um, you know, at the end of the day, there's so many HR mistakes that cost people their jobs. Yeah. And yeah. I've documented. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. How are you? Okay. Oh, see, I just good? gave them sign up. Okay. Yeah. Um, so at the end of the day, the most important thing for you guys to know is that this is called concerted action. Okay, you have protections under the law, right? That say if you take concerted activity, oh, which, is, okay. well, which um, you know challenges your employer with regard to working conditions, that you have the right to do that. And in this case, Amazon is known mistakes. I've documented HR mistakes over the last year and a half, over and over and over again. It's cost people their jobs. It's cost people leave of absence. It's cost people you can right. PTO, vacation. Mm -hmm. And when, like I said, when we make a mistake, right, we're held accountable. Right. If you didn't check your schedule, right, and, and you didn't left. know that there was MAT, right. what would happen? You would, you would have left. left and exactly. Would have so it's the same thing. And the leadership principles of Amazon clearly state that there is an accountability and ownership principle when it comes to leadership. This is an example of how we expect leadership to take accountability and responsibility for the fact that it was their error. Right. You guys made arrangements to be here, MET half shift. Right. That is what you made arrangements to do. If there was an error on that part, not to mention, when did that schedule change? This morning. What time this morning? He didn't I say. At the he didn't, he didn't last know. time I took the pilot. I checked at 4. I left at 2. It's, okay. it's, it's I took it at 4 a.m. 
I no, you check that phone. You check that phone. All right. So the other part to that is you have two things. Hi, guys. Yeah, because everybody came um, up for half a shift. Everybody's like thinking they're getting out at 945. She was last night. Oh, she did. She did. Yeah. 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 Uh, this will tell you about that lunch we, break, though. We, they yeah. are. Right. So this is what I want to tell you guys, and this is why I know all the policies. Mm -hmm. So in the policy, it states you have to have notice by lunchtime the day before. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when is lunchtime the day before? 9.45. No, no, last night. Yep. Yes. So at 9.45 last night, before 9.45, you would have had to have notice. Right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, uh, Lauren, that's the other thing, honey, just so that you know, because I know it's not you. And guys, it's not Lauren. Yeah, we know. She's nice. Yeah. I love her. I love so, her. So, um... <laughs> So I want you to remind Kelly with regard to the situation that according to the policy, they are required to have notice by prior to 9.45. And the fact that they didn't get notice prior to 9.45, if not anything else, then they can't be held to, you know, anything other than what they knew at 9.45 last night. And that's right in the policy. So there's really no question, because if we're complying with the policy, then it's already in there. Does that make sense? Okay. Did everyone sign? Yes. Yeah. You signed the book? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so everybody's, uh, yeah. Um, and remember that, uh, you know, in this case, it's important to, to, um, to notate that, this is in the policy, okay. right? So you're not asking for anything extra. They are. Oh, yeah. right. So you can, you can join the union through the MZ? Next time, I'm going to start screenshotting my stuff. Hi, Bridget, welcome back. Hey, how are you? Good. Hi, Hannah. How are you? That's for you. So why is that all you? Oh, OK, listen. Let's, yeah, one did you, more thing. Did you sign your yeah, I did, I did. Yeah. All right, so one more thing, guys. Every day people come to me and say, what's going on with you? What's going on with us? Mm -hmm. And I say, why don't you guys tell me? You Hi, guys. Paper. I know. I'm, 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 I'm talking about you. Oh. So you see, like, all the events going out now? They Hi, Kyle. What's up? Another thing in the policy, which is, this is um, information for you guys. In the policy, and the other thing that's affects the MEK, did you know that there's a policy that says that we are entitled to double time pay for MHA? Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, I did. Did oh. you know that? I didn't know oh, that. Did you know that? They no. said that in the, in the lesson code. Yeah, it's right here. So, I, and I put on the DOA board, hi, David, why are we, hi. <laughs> Why are we not getting MET double time for MET, right? Okay. So we're doing a petition. We've already done a petition for MET. It's on our. This is um, a petition for prime time. Um, so what I want you guys to do, I'm passing these out. Do you guys want to be part of? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if that's the case, I'm giving you this information, but then you need to get. Oh, okay. And then they can get, and then okay, we send right. it to you. Yeah. 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 And then what we're gonna do? So that's number one. Number two, what's in this little packet for you guys? Um, is here. Like, what do we need to do for the committee? Right. This is just like information for you guys. And then go to our Facebook page. And then this is a committee sign up if anybody wants to sign up. Yeah. Fill it out. And then, um, so that's in there. So this is just a stuff for you guys. Leon did this with you before, right? Oh, yeah. Um, like, look at this shit crazy, yo. This shit might get nutty, yo. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all. So what we're going to do with the petition is we're going to get, you know, 200 signatures. I have one online for, like, lawmakers, our supporters. We have DSA. Spotlight right here. Um, like, so, okay, so I know. I know. All right. So you guys have you have to sign up. I'm signing up. Yeah, okay. Yes, I can see by my number. Nice. Yep. Um, um do I have your number? Till 10, no, no, no. Wait. Are you guys on the clock? Yes. Yeah. This is a no-no. Right. Okay. okay. I thought you. Know, I didn't know you guys were on the clock. So that I will tell you two things. Be a model employee and don't talk about this while you're working. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Break rooms outside. 